Hey investy besties, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning investy bestie, thank you so much for coming back. I do appreciate all of you guys being here today. So today we are going to have like a hands video. Shout out to hands and bands with her tiny hands. But yes, we have a hands video today and I'm going to be doing a really fun video. So I've been seeing a lot of you unstuff your savings challenges or really tally up how much you saved for this year 2021. And so I figured I wanted to do something similar. So I'm going to count up everything that we have saved or slash invested because you do have to save the money in your budget to invest. So I'm going to count up everything that we have invested just seven of our accounts and just count some prop money with you guys because our real money is in the stock market I do have my spreadsheet right here so this is how I'm, I'm able to keep track of everything I keep very detailed records as you guys know so I'm going to count up how much we contributed only not how much the balances are currently just what we put in in 2021 so the accounts that I'm going to tally up in terms of how much we saved and invested this year are our 401k contributions I'm going to count cash for our 401k match this is very important if you get a match I suggest you at least contribute up to the match because it's essentially free money I'm going to count up the contributions to our HSA for this year our Roth IRA or the backdoor Roth IRA I'm going to be doing our Robinhood portfolio and how much we put in this year for our dividends I'm going to do crypto, of course, you know I can't keep crypto out. So crypto into our Coinbase account. And then last but not least is M1 Finance. That is where we're doing our $1 a day investing challenge. Just an update, guys. I am going to have some polls out starting, I would say probably Tuesday or Wednesday of uh, next week for January's investment pick so stay tuned for that and I hope you guys are doing really well with your investment challenge for December uh, is really really good companies we're talking about Abbott Laboratories and we're talking about the Vanguard Healthcare ETF both great great companies yes the market is down right now but again we buy and hold into good solid funds and stocks and the market always always come back you guys see all of the accounts I show you guys often when the market is red I buy low I hold and when you turn around the market is up green and the account goes up with it okay so those are the accounts we're going to be tallying up today all right guys so now that everything is kind of straight and neat and I did get some paper clips so that I could sort the money a little easier and I also wrote down the amounts that we did contribute so that I can have like something to look at when I'm counting this and don't get lost um, and I have my tablet for the calculator and I have a pen okay so first thing we're going to count is our 401k and the contributions that we made to it this year so I'm gonna set that right there so the contribution that we made this year was 19,500 so we are officially maxed out of that 401k so let's count to see how much we saved to invest in that for this year 1,000 2,000 3,000 4,000 5 6 7 8 9 10 thousand dollars 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 thousand dollars and we need 500 dollars to complete this one two three four five let's put that back make sure it's nice and neat so let's count this and make sure we have nineteen thousand five hundred one thousand two thousand three thousand four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen uh -oh, sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen one two three three four five nineteen thousand five hundred dollars inside of our 401k that we contributed this year saving for our future let's sit that right there moving on to the match match is free money again like i said if you guys can start contributing even 25 dollars, 50 dollars, anything along those lines and at least up until the match that would be great because it's essentially free money there are vesting schedules and things like that but it is free money at the end of the day and we received eleven thousand six hundred and eighty eight dollars in a match so let's go on and count that because that's free money that's our money too one thousand two thousand three thousand four thousand five thousand six thousand seven thousand eight thousand nine thousand ten thousand eleven thousand put that back make sure this is all nice and neat then we need move this over to the side 600 that's one two three four five six then we need, we need 688 okay so 50 70 we need a 10 that's 80 
85, that's 85, 2, that's 87, and then 88. Woo! I'm telling you guys, I'm a spreadsheet girl, so it does the math for me. Okay, so this would be eleven thousand six hundred eighty-eight dollars to the four hundred one k match. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand, nine thousand, ten thousand, eleven thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six hundred, six fifty, six seventy, six eighty, six eighty-five, eighty-seven, eighty-eight. Again, guys, I'm using prop money because the real money is at work. It is in the market. It is being traded and growing for us. Yes, the market is red right now, but markets always can get red, but they always bounce back. All right. HSA, which is a health savings account. I've done many videos on these types of accounts. Same with the 401k, the Roth, things like that. I'll have some of them kind of plastered over the screen. So if you guys wanted to go ahead and take a look, you can just, I like neatness, guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, HSA health savings account. $7,200 was the max, and we did that this year. So let's count 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 dollars. Then we need $200. One, two. Okay, 7,200 towards our HSA. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. 7,200. Again, all towards our future. It's really nice and motivating to see our money really being set aside and invested and growing for us for our future. Even if we weren't doing fire, guys, just for our future. And if we were not here, something happened to us, we passed away, it would go to our children. So it really is a win-win situation, no matter how you look at it. Next is the Roth IRA. I did a video about this, talking about the backdoor version of this, which is what we did. I'll have it somewhere licked on the screen, but it was $6,000 and that is what we put in there for 2021. So 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000 dollars. Love the Roth IRA because this money grows tax free. I mean, seriously, guys, tax free. And I know Congress is talking about getting rid of it, but they are on recess right now. They did not approve the Build Back Better plan. So come January 1st, if the backdoor Roth is still available to us, my husband and myself decided to take the $6,000 from our emergency fund and fully fund it for 2022 before Congress can come back and figure out what they're going to do. So $6,000 for 2021 has already been done. Sit that right there. Next is our dividend portfolio. Oh, the camera is shaking. Okay, there we go. Next is our dividend portfolio. It was $9,275 put in this year. We really tried to beef this up because this is what we're going to use or one of the accounts we want to use for our dividend income. Okay, guys? So we want to get this actually to 100000 when this all said and done. Okay, but we did cross the $20,000 mark. So that's really, really good. So let's do 9000 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we need two seventy five. So we have two hundred dollar bills right there. Move that up. Then we have a fifty, seventy, and a five. Okay. All of this is in the market. It gets prop money. Real money is at work. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000. Oh, it's on the other side, but that is 9,000. 1, 2, 50, 75. 9,275 dollars into our portfolio. Just start slow, guys, and then slowly build up your positions. That's one of the things we're doing in our investing challenge. Uh, I have put it on the actual tracker for 2022. Just a bonus challenge. Find $20 somewhere in your budget minimum and then put that $20 towards one of your current positions so that you can start building up your share size. Okay. So dividends right there for 2021. Next is cryptocurrency, $2,500. Let's get one of these, 1,000, 2,000 right there. Do we need five of these? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that was perfect. <laughs> that was perfect, 2,500. One, two, one, 2,000. One, two, three, four, five. Cryptocurrency. And everything is red, guys, in the market right now. Everything is red. There's a lot of things that the market is scared of right now, or investors. You got the variant on the rise. You have the the infrastructure plan or the Build Back Better plan that kind of fizzled out. You have a lot of things going on, so the market gets a little frazzled. But again, we buy and hold. The market always comes back. Um, and I'm just trying to pretend to be like Warren Buffett. Right now, he's probably investing money into the market. So I'm going to be like that. 
And then of course we have M1. This is what we're doing with our $1 a day investing challenge. So I put $100 in to open up the account. Then I put $31 for October's challenge and then $30 for November's challenge. So that's $161. And of course, guys, if you want to open up any of these accounts, all of my affiliate links are down below. Thank you so much to those who have used them. Thank you if you are even considering to use them. I know you can use any ones, but I really do appreciate when you guys use my links. You get free stock, free points, free crypto when you use my links, and so will I. It doesn't cost you anything. And it's just a great way to support your sis over here trying to build up, you know, her small business, okay? So M1, 161, so 150. 60 and then one let's count that up 150 61 that went into our m1 not what it grew to guys again none of these accounts are adding in what the current balances are just what we contributed this year and this isn't even all of our accounts guys okay we have a weeble account interactive brokers account uh, all, a bunch of accounts you guys know I have a bunch of accounts so it's just these accounts that I wanted to add so let's go on and count up total how much we have saved in these accounts for 2021 all right guys I zoomed you in and tried to make it a little more neat as possible I'll move this out the way so that you guys can see the tablet with the calculator on it so let's go on and count all this up so 161 and one finance Cryptocurrency, $2,500 contributed this year. Dividends, $92.75. Roth, $6,000. HSA, $7,200. Next year, the limit would be $73. Our, uh oh, something fell out. Oh, it all wasn't able to stay in. All right. Okay. $11,688. That was contributed on behalf of us no we did not put this in but they put it in for us so we're counting it because it's ours <laughs> and then the 401k 19,500 so when you add all of that up that is a whopping $56,324 that was contributed into these accounts for us for our future in 2021 so that's pretty much the video guys again I want to motivate you to just stay encouraged on your journey. Remember, do not compare our six years to your six months, okay? It takes time. I am here. Your Investy Bestie is here to encourage you and keep you motivated and consistent. I can tell you without a doubt that we would never get to this point if we didn't start off with just contributing. We started off $100. I say this often on this channel. We started putting $100 into our 401k six years ago. This is what got us to this. It was good money habits, okay? You can make a lot of money and still be broke. We are very good examples of that. Six figures with eviction notices, kind of shameful, isn't it? But again, guys, it's about your approach and mindset to money. And don't worry, I'm going to be here to help educate and guide you guys into what your money can do. So this all started from $100, just stepping out, not letting the fear of the stock market to gripple us. But we went out there, we made sure we were educated. And I just, I seriously can't believe $100 got us to $1 million net worth in 2021, just from being consistent. Okay, guys. So I know I say consistent all the time on the channel, be consistent, be consistent and buy and hold, buy and hold, buy and hold. Okay. Because that really is the way that people build wealth. That is what we learned. And so I'm here to help you guys and to teach you guys that. Okay. But yes, I mean, look at this $56,324 towards our future. And because, you know, my daughter is watching to end this video. <laughs> now she's gonna come and clean this stuff up okay so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video okay have a good one bye bye